Well, I started out in fine art and commercial art. My artwork became more and more three-dimensional, at which point I decided, why not get a degree in architecture? I have projects in Washington State, Oregon, California, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Texas, Old Mexico, and in Costa Rica. So I've done 300 plus custom home projects, probably almost 200 church projects, and then probably close to 100 commercial, custom commercial projects. Previously, our home was in the old part of Arcadia. When that neighborhood started changing, we decided to downsize. So we were looking for another irrigated piece of property, more in an older neighborhood as opposed to a new subdivision track type development. In older neighborhoods, every house is different. You get into subdivisions and unless you know the actual address, pick out one house from another house, it starts to get real difficult. And the custom homes that I've done, no two are the same. In the process of relocating, looked at probably over a hundred houses. When we came to this house, it's unique one of a kind. We walked in the front door and there were things we wanted to change, but the bones of the house were absolutely phenomenal. This is a historic home in a historic neighborhood. It was built in 1955. From an architectural standpoint, what's impressive about this house is it is basically all solid masonry construction. The exterior walls are foot thick and significantly the whole interior is plaster. There is very little drywall anywhere in the house. In plaster houses, they absorb the sound. So if you're in one room and you holler to your wife in the next room, she can't hear you. Whereas in a house with chipboard, you can stand at one end of the house and hear, hear them at the other end of the house. They certainly don't build houses like this anymore. Uh, the house is just over 3,300 square feet gross livable. It's four bedrooms, three full baths, the property is eight-tenths of an acre, which these days is very, very rare. There's lots of space around the house. It's not wall-to-wall -wall development. We do a lot of cooking at home, and that's the main reason why we did a major renovation remodel. The appliances are gas, gas range, convection, ovens, microwaves, refrigerators side by side. Functionally, a very, very good kitchen. You can have six people in it working to make a meal and nobody's bumping into each other. The house sits diagonally to the corner and so the backyard basically wraps all the way around 290 degrees and so when you walk out the back of the house all you see are trees and greenery and ivy it being an irrigated lot the backyard is very very green we have all kinds of plants grapefruit we have navel orange we have valencia orange blood orange two kinds of lemon, five pecan trees. It supplies a lot of fruit. <laughs> this home has been my wife and I enjoyment. I have no doubt that whoever the next owner is will find it very, very enjoyable and very much a home.